Thank you, uh, Mrs. Ma. Now let's gear up to the first session of the conference. And the speaker is also the chief guest of today's event, Mr. Abbas Sen. And I must say that he needs no introduction because uh, we all know Abbas Saab and uh, we all actually learn from him. Uh, so Mr. Abbas Sen is the renowned intellectual and seasoned educationist with a profound commitment to transform education in Pakistan. He holds a master's degree in English literature from Karachi University and Amit in TESOL from the University of Manchester U. Okay. He has also received professional training from the universities of Pittsburgh, Toronto, Louisville, and Chicago. He has presented papers in many international conferences. Mr. Bassasen is the managing director and founder of Teacher Development Center Private Limited. Mr. Abbas has pioneered specialized training programs for over 88,000 teachers nationwide. He's recognized for outstanding contributions to education, has been awarded the Education Icon Award by Minister of State Muhammad Asfar Ehsan in 2022. He is also acknowledged for excellence in education leadership, received a Lifetime Achievement Award by Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan at the Teachers Development Conference 2020. Today, Mr. Abbas Sen will talk about a life in a day of a principal. So over to you, Abbas Sen. Thank you. Thank you, Fareen. That was, uh, as usual, uh, quite generous. And I hope to live up to the, the expectation uh, of uh, all the people. Thank you very much for all those who have joined us. A day in a life of a principal is normally how we say this. But I have taken a spin on it and made it a life in a day of a principal. <laughs> I have about uh, five thoughts to share. And because this is a, one of the issues of our times, I'm learning from my teacher, Andy Hargreaves, that when connection is the issue, sometimes uh, words on a PowerPoint are there and reduces the contributor's um, picture to a small corner on the side of the screen, which is one of the occupational problems of, um, of this medium. However, it is wonderful to connect with people near and far. I would like to begin by an opening um, statement. The crisis has moved by which I mean it has moved up the hierarchy. It has moved up the level. Children and teachers by daily interaction have understood the enormous benefits and connectivity of technology. Children have mobile phones. They have smartphones, sometimes better than the teachers. And since they have them in the classrooms, given policy distinctions. And when a teacher makes a statement and a smart child has quickly looked it up, the teacher is immediately caught by some glitch in a fact or a date or an issue or a fact. And the child corrects and says, um, no, miss, um, Barber died in 1530. Anyway. The teachers and the children by daily interaction, teachers have under Yes. Yes. Um, are, are, am I back? There was a little connectivity problem. Yes, sir. You are clearly audible and visible. Teacher quickly has access to or manages access to tools whenever she can, whenever she does, and is prepared. There, the issue.
Right. Am I back? Hello. I, yes, I... sir. Yes. Audible. Uh, audible, yes. Uh, uh, the host is requested to restart my video, please. It says here you cannot start your video because the host has stopped it. So, um, Farheen and uh, Lubna, please look into this. I am opening my video. Ah, I'm, I'm back. Uh, right. Right. Okay. Yes. Apologies, friends, for this uh, little technology. Um, <laughs> yes, it is. So, um, so the teacher and the students are improving. It is the principal, it is the leaders of the school who are sadly still not totally web tech, uh, tech savvy and not totally in sync. And therefore, we need the, the crisis has now moved up, as we say. It has gone out from the classroom and the staff room to the principal's office. Hence, our conversation today about the centrality of the principal and a life in a day of a principal. My second point is this, is this whole realization that it is an age issue, a lack of urgency, a lack of urgency. It is an obvious observation that a person gets to run a school, that a person sometimes, very often, runs the school in their late 40s, 50s, and beyond. What happens is that during that time, the principal has seen very many of um, technological innovations, uh, classroom innovations come and go. Uh, that's also uh, uh, this innovation fatigue. The principal has seen um, many things have a huge uh, kind of a flash in the pan and then seen it simmer down and other things take over. They have seen crests and troughs. In that sense, many principals have a very uh, uh, low sense of urgency. In fact, sometimes they don't have a sense of urgency. Uh, they say, Ho jayega. it will manage. We will, we will do this. Yeah, okay, next year. <laughs> okay, next term. Uh, like that. So, because the world has changed and because some very, very serious things have happened, we need to take a look at some powerful learnings. We need. And I'm going to speak about three... Yes, um, I'm going to speak about three major learnings that all school leaders and heads need to take to heart. Take to heart. First, I agree absolutely with uh, Rafia Justice Saba's point that 50% of the variables of the success of the school belong to the principal, the leadership ahead. 50%. This is from the Commonwealth Report on School Improvement. This is a brilliant. The Commonwealth Report is based on Asian and African countries that were part of the British Commonwealth. And this was the, the, the research that they did in successful schools. And they found that the vision or lack of it of just one individual, the principal, the head, makes for or breaks the all the other variables put together. So you can speak about the furniture, the infrastructure, the parents, the school uh, climate, the ethos, the uh, library, the laboratories. The, you can speak about all of those variables and put them on one side and just one principle 
with vision is able to the the success variables are exactly in that <laughs> uh, kind of you know scales 50% that's a huge number and something which principals need to learn the second learning that i would like us like us all of us to think and for principals to wonder about and to think about is that the age we are in does not allow for the kind of uh, lassitude. Yeah, yeah, we can do this next year. Time itself has taken a little spin and has taken on an urgency. Time itself has accelerated. This is a point from Future Shock, Elvin Toffler. So the age we are in does not allow us the complacency that something as little as uh, 1960s or 70s allowed us to do. The third thing is the mindset we need. The mindset we need regarding school leadership is that we, we cannot be in silos anymore. We cannot have a relationship or lack of relationship with parents and we cannot have a trust deficit with the other stakeholders in the child's success, in the student's success. So the mindset we need is one of openness, compassion, and sharing and caring. Without that, the school, uh, shall we say, variables will be seriously mired in some very, very sad observations, well, many of them coming up soon. The fourth learning, I'm, I'm going in, in sequence, 50% of the learning of the variables of school Commonwealth report, the age we are in is an age of speed. The mindset we need is a one of compassion and large heartedness, taking everyone along. And lastly, which is connected to all of these, um, the learning curve. The learning curve includes all. Uh, once upon a time, one would have thought that if I am in my 60s, I have seen a typewriter at work for the best part of my professional life. And as a person, I must have seen it somewhere in my teens. It is something which I've seen with my own eyes, a person typing and preparing good documents. So when I become a principal, a typewriter isn't a complex thing because it has already been invented. But today, I'm dealing with a strange realization. I have no visual modeling. I have no visual modeling. Please pause on this for a moment. When a new uh, app comes on my device, when When the banking app by which I'm to transfer money to my own account happens, that was simply did not exist. I have to learn it. So has the father of the child who's making the fee payment. And so has the child, except that the child is only nine years old. So the child takes it in his or her stride. The parent, the father is... Uh, struggling with a couple of more strokes. I also need to make those strokes and learn. Uh, as a principal, I cannot possibly argue that I can give a role modeling before the children of things which I can't manage and they can. I'm, I'm giving, and it's, a, it's a very strange contradiction. I have to visually role model new inventions for which I myself did not get visual role modeling. So I need to learn and I need to have a learning curve extremely fast. Faster or okay, as fast as the people and the children and the teachers I'm serving. And so on these notes, I bring the, the nugget of wisdom around which a day in the life of a principal, a school day uh, in Pakistan, say about uh, 8 a.m., okay, uh, 8, 7.45, 8, 
right through to 230, sometimes a little more, three, fine. A day in a life of a principal has three phases. In a digital world, with digital realities, a day in the life of a principal, three phases. One, the early morning when the teacher, the principal enters his office, his or her office, boots up the computer and gives out the staff email of the morning. This staff email should have, does have, the important events and learnings and tools and Pinterest uh, connections and important tweets that uh, have arrived in the night before, shared with all the staff, shared with all the teachers of anything that they find interesting. This is the 8 a.m. email that the principal begins the day with. A second connected connection with the principal and all the children and students is the school Google Docs and the school Twitter. On the Twitter, the principal appreciates, acknowledges, and um, basically applauds the good work that he gets to know of from the teacher's own responses. That in grade five, this child did something very good, and the teacher's tweet, uh, the principal's tweet goes out. From 11 to 11.30 is the time when the principal celebrates the good emerging from the children and the teachers. At the end of the day, when there is a time to say farewell to the school, the principal puts in yet another, uh, shall we say, entrance on the Google Docs in which he gets to see the good work done by the children. The good work that they have submitted, the Web, the podcasts they have done, the web pages they have made, the blogs they have written, selected ones, uh, filtered by the teacher that are now are uh, that are now available on the school website for him to then take decisions about which ones to put forward to on the school website. So there, there, there are like a series of stages. Uh, I will, you can fill in the details of what I was uh, getting at, and I now conclude on my on the last observation. We deliberately call this my my little presentation here a life in a day of a principal, and actually each day the principal is summarizing the sum total of his or her experiences of a life. Yes, we get that. But actually, I'm now shifting the metaphor slightly different. I'm now saying each day by the principal, when he is digitally savvy, when he is technologically adept, when he is connected to the youngsters, we find that in that one day, in that one gesture, he has made a mark for a life. He has made a mark for a lifetime on a young child's heart and a young child's mind. And I believe that is a life in a day of principle. Not just one, many lives. And now we see how suddenly this entire thing. Ah, okay. Somebody has just said, may I, can, can I please repeat this? Yes, of course. I'm saying that a few good words spoken by the principal addressed to a teacher for good work or a child for a good classroom product or anything, that has an impact for a lifetime on that child and on that teacher. So that one day in the principal's tech-savvy, web-savvy contribution is a lifetime of impact on the teachers and the children of his school. And you can immediately see how, what a magnificent multiplier effect this kind of a thing can have. And this then is my summary thought about a life in a day of a principal. I hope apart from the little glitches that I have been able to set a, a thought process in, in, the, in the 
conference. I'm grateful to my team for all their support. And mashallah, I am here and look forward to learning more. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you, Abbasa, for a uh, detailed input on the ideas that I started off with. Thank you.